we have already completed the junction field effect transistors and now we will start the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors. In short, we call it MOSFET. And like BJT and JFET, MOSFET is also an active device. MOSFET is also an active device. So first, we will try to understand what is an active device. Any type of circuit component with the ability to control the flow of electrons is known as active device. So if there is a circuit component and if this circuit component can control, can control the flow of electrons and eventually the current flow then we call this component active device few examples are bipolar junction transistors junction field effect transistors and mosfet on the other hand the circuit component with no ability to control the flow of electrons is known as passive device is known as passive device it cannot control the flow of electrons and few examples are PN junction diode, capacitors, transformers, transformers, etc. These devices cannot control the flow of electrons and now we will move to the classification of MOSFET. We already know MOSFET is classified into two types. MOSFET is classified into two types the first one is depletion type MOSFET depletion type MOSFET and the second one is enhancement type MOSFET enhancement type MOSFET and we can further classify them into two types depletion type we can classify as N channel depletion type MOSFET and P channel depletion type MOSFET. In the same way, enhancement type MOSFET we can classify as N channel enhancement type MOSFET and P channel enhancement type MOSFET. The construction is almost same except one important difference. When you see the construction of depletion type MOSFET and enhancement type MOSFET you will find they are almost same but there is one very important difference initially there is no channel between the drain and source in case of enhancement type MOSFET there is no channel between drain and source but in case of depletion type MOSFET channel is there from the beginning the channel is there from the beginning between drain and source. So this is one very important difference between depletion type MOSFET and enhancement type MOSFET. And in this lecture, we will study enhancement type MOSFET. And to explain the construction and working, I will take N channel enhancement type MOSFET. So let's start. First we take parent material or body or base of silicon and then we dope it with the trivalent impurities to make it p-type material this is the parent material or the silicon wafer and now we will dope it with the trivalent impurities to make it p-type material p-type material we call this substrate or body we call the parent material substrate substrate or body and in case of N channel enhancement type MOSFET, it is of P type. The meaning of substrate is layer and we will fabricate our device over this layer. After this, two N type wells are created. After this, two N type wells are created like this. This is the first N type well and this is the second N type well. And as you can see, there is junction between two N type materials and P type material. Depletion region will be formed. Two depletion regions 
with same width will be formed like this out of two n wells one n well will act as source and the other n well will act as drain let's say this n well is acting as source and this n well is acting as drain and like jfat we have metal contacts in case of mosfet also and this terminal is the source terminal the metal contact is there for the second n well also and this terminal is the drain terminal the substrate or body is also having the metal contact like this and the terminal we will represent as ss or b where b stands for body and ss stands for substrate now we will talk about the gate terminal but first let us make one thing clear when substrate or body is of p type material then source and drain are n type materials and when substrate or body is of n type material then source and drain are made of p type material and in case of p channel enhancement type mosfet the substrate is of n type and source and drains are of p type so this is very easy thing to remember now let's talk about the gate terminal the gate terminal is not in direct contact with the body the gate terminal is not directly connected to the body or substrate it is located over a very thin layer of silicon dioxide so let's make a very thin layer of silicon dioxide this is the thin layer of silicon dioxide and over this layer over this layer metal contact is placed this is the metal contact of the gate and this terminal is the gate terminal the width of layer is very small the silicon dioxide layer width is very small nearly equal to 1000 angstrom and we also call it gate oxide we also call it gate oxide we make it very thin we make it very thin because we want the control over the surface by the gate electrode we want the control over the surface by the gate electrode and because of this reason we make the layer very thin so this is the complete construction of n channel enhancement type mosfet the connections we will see in the next lecture in this lecture we will discuss how the channel is formed in the enhancement type mosfet you can see there is no channel initially there is no channel between the source and the drain now let's try to understand how the channel is formed substrate is made of p type material so we already know the majority charge carriers the majority charge carriers are holes and the minority the minority charge carriers are the electrons and the overall charge neutrality is maintained this means mobile charge carriers are having the same number as the immobile immobile ions this is very basic thing and you already know this in p type material the majority charge carriers are holes and the minority charge carriers are electrons the charge neutrality is maintained this means number of mobile charge carriers electrons and holes are equal to immobile ions now we will make gate terminal more positive with respect to substrate terminal we will make the gate terminal more positive with respect to the substrate terminal and consider the metal contact at the gate terminal as one plate of a capacitor simply consider a capacitor and the first plate of the capacitor is the metal contact of the gate so this terminal 
is the gate terminal and the second plate of the capacitor is the substrate the body or substrate is the second plate of the capacitor and in between this we have silicon dioxide so silicon dioxide is acting as dielectric between parallel plate capacitor now we will connect the gate terminal to the higher potential and the substrate terminal to the lower potential and after applying the voltage positive charges will accumulate over the gate plate the positive charges will accumulate over the gate plate and negative charges will accumulate over the substrate plate like this now we have to understand how the negative charges are accumulating over the substrate plate it is very important to understand how negative charges are accumulating over the substrate plate substrate plate is the body of the mosfet and uh, there are minority charge carriers electrons are the minority charge carriers and they are negatively charged so initially when vgs this voltage here is vgs initially when vgs is low electrons will accumulate near the surface and because of this we have negative charge on the plate but when you increase vgs when you increase vgs then uncovering of negative immobile ions will take place in the body we have positive and negative immobile ions and when you increase vgs more the uncovering of negative immobile ions will take place and because of this reason holes will be pushed down there are negative immobile ions with holes and when the uncovering of negative immobile ions takes place this means holes are pushed below holes are positively charged and they are pushed down in the body so this is how negative charge will accumulate near the surface and we have tried to understand this by the help of parallel plate capacitor positive charge will be there at the gate terminal and now you can see what is happening this negative charge is due to minority charge carriers electrons and uncovering of negative immobile ions due to this region near the surface first becomes less p type this region near the surface first becomes less p type and then it will become n type due to excess negative charge this is the most important point in this lecture initially when vgs is a small minority charge carriers will accumulate near the surface and because of this reason a region near the surface will become less p type and when you increase vgs more uncovering of negative immobile ions will take place and this region will become n type due to excess negative charge present this process is known as inversion this process is known as inversion let me write this down in version so in inversion we change n type to p type we invert n type to p type by making gate terminal more positive with respect to substrate or body terminal so what will happen when this region is converted to n type what will happen channel is formed between source and drain i will show you how channel is formed between source and drain the region near the surface is n type so this n type and n type will be joined together like this and the depletion region will be formed like this so when you make gate terminal more positive with respect to substrate terminal channel is formed between source and drain this is not the complete working in the next lecture we will complete the working of n channel enhancement type mosfet and before i end this lecture i will explain inversion one more time when you make 
VGS greater than 0 volt inversion will happen the inversion of P type material to the N type material and because of inversion conductive channel is formed conductive channel is formed between the source and drain this is the conductive channel so we can say that on increasing VGS making it more positive the channel width or the depth the channel width or the depth in this case will also increase so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one